Now I'm joined by Fadi Hakura, the manager of the Turkey Project at the London-based think tank Chatham House. Thanks so much for being with us. What kind of economic impact is Turkey, what's happening in Turkey, going to have for the rest of the region? I think that uh, the, the continued protests will have a short-term uh, impact in terms of uh, uh, damaging Turkey's image for tourists. Uh, it will it also in terms of credit. But overall, I think what's the danger of what's going on in Turkey is that the really, uh, author uh, really uh, uncompromising style of leadership that we see with the Prime Minister now vis-a-vis -vis the demonstrators might be now might uh, spill over into economic policy making and that would be very, very dangerous for Turkey. How justified are the grievances against Erdogan that many of the protesters have? I think that they are uh, genuine grievances and legitimate. Uh, it's not only about trees in Gezi Park adjoining Taksim Square, but it's also about uh, recent restrictions, tough restrictions on the sale and consumption and promotion of alcohol. Also the fact that some uh, very uh, restrictive policies have been adopted towards abortion services, uh, cesarean births, and some of also some uh, religious language that we have seen come from the uh, Prime Minister and the government. I just want to show a map of the region and just explain to our viewers the importance of Turkey geopolitically, just physically where it sits in this part of the world. Uh, Turkey is extremely uh, important. Uh, uh, Turkey is uh, 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 Turkey's at the center of East and West. It, has, it shares borders with Syria, Iran and Iraq, with some of the most volatile regions of the world. It's next to around 75% of the world's energy resources, so it's, it's an extremely uh, important country at a strategic location and has the second largest mil uh, army in NATO. What about the level of international influence that Turkey exercises and enjoys on the international stage? Uh, Turkey enjoys uh, influence given its strategic uh, geography, that it has the second largest uh, army uh, in NATO, the fact that also it's a, a candidate country to join the European uh, Union and now that it's becoming more and more integrated into the economy and the politics of the Middle East. Do you see this as a Turkish spring like we've seen in, in other parts of the Arab world? The government in Turkey dislikes being, that analogy being used for obvious reasons, but how, how do you see these protests and whether they could escalate into that or not? I think that these protests are more like Occupy Wall Street or Occupy London than the Arab Spring, say in Egypt and Tunisia, simply because the Prime Minister of Turkey was democratically elected in the last general elections in 2011, receiving almost half the national vote. Also, Turkey has been a functioning democracy since uh, 1950, whereas in Egypt and Tunisia, what we have seen were demonstrators to remove unelected leaders in those so is countries. Is this going to escalate then? I mean, how do you see this playing out and how can it be contained? I think it very much depends on the Prime Minister. What we are seeing from the Prime Minister is open defiance, uncompromising language, and I think that if he continues along those lines and it looks like he is going to continue, then it is uh, likely to escalate further. Fadi Hakura, the manager of the Turkey Project at the London-based think tank Chatham House. Great to see you. Thank you.